Bus is right. It's the second yellow. And it comes off. The team I grew up supporting. The team now is just a complete shadow of that. Let's get straight into this. And rip the ground. Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So today is Tuesday the 30th of January 2024 and today we're into the University of Bradford Stadium for game number 64 of the 23-24 season on this channel. We've got Bradford City versus Doncaster Rovers in the Bristol Street Motors Trophy quarterfinal. So in today's video we've got my thoughts pre-halftime and post-match as well as the match day vlog itself. And then at the end of the video we've been a new ground on the channel we're going to rate the ground, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Cheers. Thank you. And we're in. Okay, so it's time for my pre-match thoughts on both teams now. So just quickly, if you are new here, please like this video and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. It really does help the channel, channel out and I really appreciate any support, no matter how big or small. So I know this is a cup match and kind of the league goes out of a window, but I think it's fair to say with both of these two teams, they are two underachieving teams for the level that we're at and two rather out of form teams and it's fair to say two very unhappy fan bases so i suppose it's a question of which fan base is going to be a bit happier tonight and you know have that prospect of it being a bad season but potentially a trip to wembley on the cards so let's start this off with the host bradford city and they currently find themselves in 18th out of 24th place in league two so so far we've had nine wins nine draws and 11 defeats in the league and the last result was one of them 11 defeats where they had a 2-0 loss away at another kind of struggling club Swindon Town it's not a great result at all there and they're actually currently winless in seven games they've drawn four of them games and then lost the other three and actually their last win was actually when they played us at, uh, at our place just before Christmas where they beat us by three goals to one so um you know, this is really a club that you expect to be doing a lot better than they are. Obviously, they reached a playoff semi-final last season before getting defeated by Carlisle United. They had a change of manager as well when Mark Hughes departing earlier this season and been replaced with Graham Alexandra. He had a decent start. Um, they lost the first two, but then they kind of picked up quite a bit of form after that. And you kind of felt like they'd turned a corner a bit. But ever since they beat us, they've just not been able to do it. And I know a lot of fans... We're unhappy about quite a lot of stuff like the ownership um, and rightly so I mean a team for Bradford size a pro former Premier League team and the 18th in League 2 it's, it's just not good enough so Bradford fans let me know in the comments what's kind of going wrong at the minute at your club what needs to change and what are your thoughts overall on your team and now moving on to my team and the away team for tonight Doncaster Rovers and we are currently third bottom of League 2 in 22nd at 24th which I said to my girlfriend, actually, uh, when we were discussing it, we're actually 90th out of the 92, which just sounds shocking when you put it like that, to be fair. But not been a good season at all for us. 
So, so far this season, we've had eight wins, four draws, and a whopping 16 defeats. And the last of them, 16 defeats, came on Saturday, where we had a 5-1 home loss to Stockport County, which I'll talk a bit more about in a second. So, that means we've now uh, lost three games in a row, and we've only won one of our last nine games. And in them nine games, we've conceded 21 goals. So... I think it's clear to see where the problem is, to be fair, the defence. Um, I know attacking-wise we've been all right, but not great, but not brilliant. Uh, not great, but not poor. But when you're shipping in the goals that we're shipping in, that's not really going to matter. If you can't defend, then you're never going to win win games. Um, and I think there's a real clear place to see where that defensive errors are coming from, and that is just anywhere in the air. You put a ball higher than six foot into the penalty box and... You kind of you kind of watching through your fingers because you kind of just expect us to concede. So in the match against Stockport, all five goals were from a header, so either from a cross or a corner, um, and that's been the same all season really. Every time we concede a corner, you just you feel like there's more chance of him scoring than us not conceding. It's it's bonkers. Um, and that was a problem against Stockport. I were at the San Siro, so we'd been a late kick off. I didn't uh, manage to get to the game. I. Um, Watched the second half on iFollow, and um, we'd had the worst of it in the first half, but the second half was sh shocking as well. Just turned it on after the fourth goal, and um, yeah, I just wish we'd have put up a fight, to be fair. We just kind of rolled over, gave them way too much respect, and just let them do whatever they wanted to us. So, yeah, big, big improvements needed. I mean, we're, we're kind of lucky this season as well that Forest Green and Sutton are doing as bad as they are, um, but... We have got Sutton on the Saturday, so I think it's eight points at the minute, the gap. That could become five if they beat us, and then it really is squeaky bum time, to be fair, because we can't keep saying, like, it's a good job Sutton and Forest Green are so poor because, you know, you can't get complacent because before you know it, they could pick up a couple of wins from somewhere, and then all of a sudden, you really are fighting for your life. So moving away from the league and into this cup competition then. So in the group stages, both teams won their respected groups, and then... In the uh, last 32, Bradford had a 4-0 home win against Liverpool under-21s, whereas we had a 3-0 home win against Nottingham Forest under-21s. Then moving into the last 16, Bradford had a very good away win against Derby by a goal to nil, and we drew 1-0 with Wigan Athletic and then beat them 4-2 on penalties. So this season, obviously Bradford beat us 3-1 at our place just before Christmas, and then we were meant to play them... Um, uh, on the 20th, so just a week and a half ago, um, but that match got postponed due to a frozen pitch, so that'll be getting rearranged for a Tuesday in the upcoming future. Um, so I think that moves me on nicely to my prediction for today. Then. So which team are going to go into the semi-final of the Bristol Street Motors Trophy? My prediction is... I've been saying this for a, uh, well since the Stockport game, really, because things are so low at the club at the minute, it seems like one of them things where we'll win tonight, a bit a bit of momentum will be boosted because there's you know one round away from Wembley, and then we'll go and lose to Sutton on a Saturday and that'll all be gone. And I'm gonna stick with that to be fair. I think it's two out of four teams, like I say, two where the fans aren't happy at all. I think we're gonna get the win tonight, and then like I say, morale will be boosted a bit, and then we're gonna hit back down to earth with a bump against Sutton. So I can't see it being a classic, to be fair. I'm going to go Bradford City nil, Doncaster Rovers 1. Anyway, they are my thoughts before the match, then, so let's head back to the University of Bradford Stadium and see how the game goes. Yeah, go my teams. Come on, Rovers. I think we went down for a beer before the uh, sending off. Yeah, that makes sense. You did, yeah. I hate Bradford's kick. Oh, oh, go on. Oh! Ah! Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, well done, Jared. Yeah, by the way, just let everyone know. Goes to his ball. Take it off. Jamie. Oh, yeah. Jeez. That's really shit. You were right, I never Yeah. 
Boy out! Great. Andy Cole. To him! Save Jones. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Play is stopped and it looks like ref's talking to our coach and stuff or something. So, not sure what's really going on. I'll keep you updated, but let's have a look. It's not a clue what's going on there. Literally nothing's happened. Whether they've just had a drinks break or what, I don't know, but not real empty, uh, spell. It must be a lengthy spell. Early sub coming on here then. Ball and you are going off for John Taylor, so whether it's an injury or what, I'm not too sure, but um, it must yeah, be a bit early. Only uh, 35 minutes gone, so see what happens. No, no. Go on. Oh, look it. Come on. Come on, Donny. That's all right, boy. Okay, up. Oh. No. Oh, it's a rate ball. Oh, rate ball through. Okay. No, that's what I got to touch. Please. Love some shoes here, then. Connor Carty has gone off. Uh, yeah, Connor Carty gone off for Kyle Lewis. Guessing Tad's gone. Guessing he's going to come over and support Sterry. That way, Timmy got knocked tough off of there. All right, well, actually, yeah, that, yeah. Ah, yeah, that's true. Actually, his shoulder. Yeah, looks a plaid with board back look there. Come on! Ah, look it, come on! Yeah, it's Connor Carter's getting carried off over there, looks like backwards with board were more serious when it first looked, so hopefully it's not too serious. Wish we all best. Still nil nil lot going in two at a time. Half time. Nil nil. So what half time is Bradford sitting nil at like Doncaster Rovers nil. Uh, I'd say Bradford started off the better of the two teams and then we kind of got into it a bit more as the half went on. Uh, I think both teams both teams have done all right, in all fairness. I don't think either's been absolutely fantastic, but I don't think either's been really poor as well. It's kind of... I'd say Bradford's just about edged this so far, in my opinion. I think they've had the better at play and better at chances, but like I said, as the half went on, I think we got into the game a bit more and um, we started to... Uh, create a few chances of our own um but yeah not a lot of clear cut chances to be fair neither keeper's been we've had a few saves but nothing really too testing for him um so yeah both teams kind of cancelling each other out at the minute and neither team has been able to find the breakthrough so that could change in the second half like i said so let's head back to the university of bradford stadium and see how the second half goes out of play no, like, oh, Shoot! Oh, no. One! Oh, get in! Oh, oh they were close! They were close! I'm not sure. Can we get some tickets? No! Oh! Offside! Offside! Oh, he's got through there too easy! That's a cracking strike. Good free kick to be fair. Set it all along, it's a dangerous position. Been punished for it. Two changes then, um, Rob, Ben and uh, Maxwell going off, Senior and Aloe coming on. A bit of a strange sub, I don't really get it unless we're going for a back three and then get a bit more attacking, but I'm not really too sure. Uh, but it's still 1-0 to Bradford so far. Don't get it! Don't get it! It's good ball, that! One! Oh, it's getting offside! What? What? No! Give over! That's... Oh, to be fair, bloody Brad Allardy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the player Brad Allardy as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 
There's the second yellow, and it comes off. Andy Cook is off. Why is it going that way? I don't know. Go on. Oh, he's going offside again. Oh. She, sorry. He, she wanted to get offside. Wow. Fucking decisions aren't going that way at all. Ah, we go in. Oh, Joe! Oh, Four. Four minutes at a time to finish the game off. Can we get a goal to force penalties? Shit. Oh, come on, get up! It's a Ben Close going off. It looks like a real bad injury today. Took his leg out. Grab the player, took it. it the game fell off for uh, some reason, I thought it was the other way around, but big way close to going off on a stretch. Hopefully, no matter what the outcome, it's not as bad as it looks. Um, yeah, it looked nasty, so hopefully it's not as bad as first feared. Here we go, Louis Jones is coming up then. You feel like this could be the last chance to get anything from this match. Time 1 0 to Bradford. Bradford go on to the semi finals. So, at full time, it's finished Bradford City 1, Doncaster Rovers 0, and the road to Wembley ends here um i'll be honest that loss did hurt me quite a bit when the full time whistle blew um it did kind of feel a bit like kicking my stomach um i don't think it's fully getting knocked out of the tournament although i will say i've enjoyed this tournament quite a bit to be fair but i think it's just the whole season at the minute it's kind of that realization of like you know over the last few years like i don't recognize the club where it used to be compared to now it's like and i think that kind of hit me at full time um I think especially like I say through that game where you kind of like had one eye on the Harrogate Sutton game, like making sure and praying that Sutton didn't win, um, you know, to keep us in the football league, you know, that's just it hurts. I can't, I'm not going to lie, it hurts being that low down, and it really doesn't feel good. I mean, you know, the team I grew up supporting, it, the team now are just a complete shadow of that. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I know you know it is like the Mickey Mouse and the Pizza Cup or the Bristol Street Motors Cup now as you want to call it um but I have enjoyed this tournament um it's it's been like a shining light on an extremely poor season because when we've not been doing it in the league we've had some decent performances in the cup let alone like I say being against under 21s and that but it's good to see your team like playing well when you know the league form is just so bad um so yeah and it, like I say it was a chance to get a day out at Wembley um which I know it is like paper over the cracks I mean I'd rather stay up than have a trip to Wembley but you know it is summer you have hope for in the season and that's kind of gone now um and yeah uh, I mean that's our fourth loss in a row in all competitions it's um yeah it, it just don't feel good at the minute I mean we've got a massive game on Saturday as well that's the thing uh, against um, Sutton United who's place below us I mean um like I say, we're set with seven point difference at the minute. We have got a game in hand. If we win, we've got ten points clear with game in hand, which gives us that breathing space. If we lose, that gap goes down to four points, which and with form where we're in at the minute, you know, that could boost Sutton so much as well. And like I say, it only takes a couple of results either way and they can overtake us. I mean, I'm trying to think as possible as I can, but I'm also being realistic. It's like, you know, <laughs> you know, it's it's worrying. It really is worrying. And I'll be honest, I thought we played okay tonight. I didn't think we played bad, but we just didn't create enough chances. And if you don't create enough chances, you're not going to get chances. And, you know, if you do create chances and then you get chances and you're not putting them chances away, then 
you're not going to win football matches ultimately. I mean, we defend a lot better tonight. I think, you know, compared to Stockport, but I feel like I say it again and again, we do all right until we get to that final third, and then, you know, we're just not getting the chances and not getting the goals, and um, ultimately, you know, if you're not creating chances and you're not putting chances away, then you're not going to score. Hence, you're not going to win football matches. Okay, it's time for Rate the Ground now then. So if you're new to these videos, what we do is basically for each new ground we visit in the season, I'm going to rate them on five categories. So we've got the pre-match, the catering, the ground, the atmosphere and the overall enjoyment. So each category is going to get a score out of five and then a total out of 25. And then we're going to put them into a leaderboard with all the other grounds we've been to this season. So this time it is the turn of Bradford City. So without further ado, let's get straight into this and rate the ground. So we'll start with pre-match then, and um, I've been to Valley Parade twice, and both times I've gone straight in because just due to what time the bus got there and all that sort of stuff. Um, but to be fair, around Bradford, like I say, you're not too far out from the city centre. There is stuff to do around Bradford as well. Uh, it's not too bad. There's stuff you know around the stadium to do as well. Uh, I know quite a lot of people who's gone before, like they've had, you know gone for a curry have before or after the game, got some really good places around Bradford for uh, going for a curry and um, a few decent pubs as well so although I've not done it myself I know this is kind of a weird one because I've gone straight in both times there is stuff to do around, around there and it's not too bad to be fair so for pre-match Bradford is going to get a three out of five next up we've got the catering and to be fair to Bradford the catering has improved a lot since I went last season um, I went last season and I waited till half time to get some food and they'd run out of hot food completely so I ended up with a packet of beef flavoured Seabrooks and a Snickers bar for my lunch which weren't ideal to be fair and uh, I think we just had bottles last time whereas this time we actually had pints of Carlin and Madri Madri about a quid dearer than the Carlin so went up having pints of Carlin instead which are pretty good to be fair pies were a lot better I had a chicken body pie which tasted really nice um, and to be fair the queues went down at, you know not too bad to be fair um, yeah I'd say it's about average so I'm going to go down the middle here with my score um, but like I say it has improved a lot from last year I would have scored it a lot lower last year however last year we did sell out the away end and we only had 400 there today so that's going to make a difference as well but i'd say it's about average for food so i'm going to go down the middle with my score here out of five so i'm going to go two and a half out of five for the catering next up we've got the ground and this is a lovely ground for this level um like i say it is i think it's the second biggest behind mk duns um like i say two lovely stands um one behind the goal the copper thing and then one on the side of the pitch and then the away stand is in a pretty good one and then we've got that small stand behind the goal which for sometimes open if the away allocation uh, demands it which we did with us last season uh, so yeah this is one of my probably one of my favorite grounds at this level so it's going to score high here it's going to get a four and a half out of five next up we've got atmosphere and um to be fair there are only three thousand there it's like i say it's efl trophy there's you know it's never going to be a great atmosphere I, I, you know, we have got a rearranged game against these on the Tuesday night, so if I do go to that, I will redo Rate the Ground because I'm sure it'll get a high score and atmosphere uh, for that match. But I've got to go off what I've seen today. And um, like I say, there weren't a great deal of atmosphere apart from, like I say, when Bradford scored. And, um, you know, at the start, so I'm going to go one half out of five for the atmosphere. And finally, we've got overall enjoyment. It's been all right. Um, Compared to other away days, um, I've got to base this on. It's It's been all right. Decent day. Like I say, not too crowded in the away end either. So, um, yeah, it were okay. We're, we're lost. We're out at Cup. You know, we're miserable. So, it's not going to get a massive score here. But, you know, it, it wasn't too bad. I'm going to go two and a half out of five for the overall enjoyment. So that gives Bradford a total score of 14 out of 25, which puts them in 30th in the table. The level on points with Malta, however, Malta are higher based on the deciding factor is overall enjoyment. So, um, yep, like I say, if I do come to the rearranged game, I will do another rate the ground because I reckon it will get a higher score because you never know, you can come to some matches on some days and um, it can be fantastic. You can go to the same 
ground on a different day and it can be a completely different experience so like i say if i do go to rearrange one i will redo this rate of the ground um but anyway um good luck to bradford in the semi-finals i think the draw is no longer regionalized so we can get any of the three teams that have gone through which is i think it's blackpool peterborough and then either wickham or brighton on the ones but um, like I said, I'm going to leave this video here then, so thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out greatly, and any support is much appreciated from myself. So the next video on the channel, we're off on our ground hops again. Uh, we're off to Liverpool this weekend. We're seeing Tranmere Rovers versus Crew Alexandra, which will put me one ground away from completing League 2, which is going to be at Morecambe when we go there with Rovers in April. So until then... Thank you very much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.